Welcome back to the Berkeley at Home Variety Show. I'm Patrick Holmes, and this is our Blockly Commencement episode. This week, Mike will reveal the winning names of the Peregrine Falcon Chicks, Kim has more cooking tips, and we celebrate the graduating class of 2020. The much-anticipated Blockly Commencement took place this past Saturday with hundreds of students participating. The virtual commencement ceremony included an animated version of Memorial Stadium, complete with pomp and circumstance, remarks by Chancellor Carol Chris, the conferring of degrees, and of course, flying mortarboards. Unable to congratulate the graduates in person, the UC Berkeley community went online this year to celebrate the class of 2020. Using the hashtag CalGrad, Proud faculty, staff, alums, and family members posted their congratulations to the graduates. Chancellor Carol Chris offered up her own congratulations to the class of 2020 on social media. Congratulations, class of 2020. You're a class that's gonna go down in history. In the past few weeks, you've had to develop capacities of mind and character that will serve you well throughout your whole lives. Uh, ingenuity, patience, the ability to change on a dime, uh, the ability to confront the unknown and the unexpected. So take those qualities, own them for yourself, and depend on them as you move into a world that is full of so much uncertainty. It's a world that I'm sure you, you're going to make better. So fiat looks and go Bears. A little later, we'll have a special performance to round out our coverage of Commencement 2020. But first, we have some exciting news on the Peregrine Falcon front. For that, let's turn to our Chief Wildlife Correspondent, Mike Durda. Mike? Thanks, Patrick. It's become an annual spring ritual here at UC Berkeley, naming the falcon chicks born on the Campanile. Previous chicks have been named Fiat and Lux after Berkeley's motto, Laurentium Californium and Berkelium after major elements discovered here, and Carson and Kate after Rachel Carson and Tom Kate, who are major players in Peregrine Falcon conservation. This year, more than 400 potential names were submitted by members of the community, and just over 3,000 votes were cast to choose the eventual winners. Some of the top finishers were Doe, Koshland, and Moffat after three of Berkeley's libraries, Hamilton, Tamil Pais, and Diablo after three of the Bay Area's most prominent peaks, and Harry, Ron, and Hermione after those lovable scamps in the Harry Potter series. But they were all beaten out by this year's winners, Poppy, Sequoia, and Redwood representing California's state flower and state trees, and submitted by Tess Linden, a doctoral student in molecular and cell biology. Here in this artist's recreation, you can see what the chicks would look like if they were actually crossed with their plant namesakes. Truly a marvel. With that, another falcon naming contest comes to an end. Call me old-fashioned, but I'll always remember Little Redwood by the official name lovingly engraved on his identification band, 1687. 29762. Back to you, Patrick. The Berkeley Art Museum and Pacific Film Archive are continuing to bring the museum experience home while we're all sheltering in place. You can experience the full exhibition on the BAM PFA website. And now Kim Guess is back with another tip for cooking while sheltering in place. Hey everyone, today we're talking about beans and lentils because they're really easy, affordable, nutritious, and filling full of fiber, protein, and vitamins and minerals. So in general, you can throw them into soups, stews, chilies, pasta, salad, tacos, or make veggie burgers out of them. And I'm gonna tell you about a few of my favorite ways to use them. So the first one is edamame, just warmed up with a little bit of garlic as a snack, delicious. Red lentils cook really quickly, 15 to 20 minutes, so I like to make red lentil dal or Ethiopian lentil stew. And if you're cooking dried beans, my favorite soaking method is called the quick soak method. So basically, you sort the beans, put them in a pot of water, bring it to a boil, and then turn off the heat and just let it sit for an hour. Then you drain them, rinse it, fill the pot back with water, and then just simmer it until the beans are tender. 
And you can also use beans to replace flour in baked goods, which may sound kind of weird, but I promise it doesn't taste like beans. And flour can be kind of hard to find right now. So we have a recipe on our website for chickpea blondies, or maybe you can try black bean brownies, or you can even save the liquid from chickpeas. It's called aquafaba, and it'll whip up like meringue. Last week's virtual scavenger hunt was a huge hit. Nearly 70 people tried their hand at research field station trivia. Did you know that UC Berkeley has a research field station in French Polynesia? And do you think they need someone to host their variety show? The names of the 16 winners are on your screen. Congratulations to everyone who received a perfect score. As we move into summer, we'll be producing episodes every other week. That means that we'll see you again on June 2nd. But before we go, we'll leave you with this special performance. Alumni of the UC Men's Octet and the California Golden Overtones reunited to congratulate the class of 2020. Hail to California, alma mater dear. Sing the joyful chorus, sound it far and near. Rally round her banner, we will never fail. California, alma mater, hail, 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 hail to California, queen in whom we're blessed, spreading light and goodness over all the west. Sure.